क्वेश्चन नंबर 63 सेज दैट सोडियम फिनोक्साइड व्हेन हीटेड विद कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड अंडर प्रेशर एट 125 डिग्री सेल्सियस यील्ड्स अ प्रोडक्ट व्हिच ऑन एसिटलाइजेशन प्रोड्यूसेस सी दिस इज द रिएक्शन गिवन सोडियम फिनोक्साइड रिएक्ट्स विद कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एट 125 डिग्री सेल्सियस एट 5 एटमॉस्फेयर प्रेशर टू यील्ड अ प्रोडक्ट बी the product b reacts with acid followed by reaction with acetic anhydride to give product c the four options are given for the major product c formed in the given reaction now let's see what happens when sodium phenoxide reacts with carbon dioxide phenoxide ion has increased electron density at the ortho and para position because the negative charge on oxygen is in resonance with the benzene ring the negative charge at the ortho position attacks at the carbon atom of carbon dioxide in order to get back aromaticity the carbon at which carbon dioxide attack releases a proton this releases a proton the pi electrons shift to oxygen the proton is accepted by phenoxide ion because phenoxide ion is more basic than carboxylate ion this accepts proton to give salicylic acid that is product b now this product reacts with acetic anhydride to give salicylic acid reacts with acetic anhydride to give ortho acetoxy benzoic acid this is product c the major product form is the ortho isomer the minor product will be the para isomer so the correct answer of the four options given the correct answer is answer 2 now we will take up the next problem that is 64 question 64 says given below are the half cell reactions mn2 plus gains two electrons and gets reduced to manganese the standard reduction potential value is given minus 1.18 volt mn3 plus gains one electron and gets reduced to mn2 plus the standard reduction potential value is given plus 1.51 volt the e not for the disproportionation reaction that is 3 mn2 plus changes to mn and 2 mn3 plus will be 
the four options are given minus 0.33 volt the reaction will occur minus 2.69 volt the reaction will not occur minus 2.69 volt the reaction will occur and the last option is minus 0.33 volt the reaction will not occur now let's see how to solve the problem We have been given the two reduction reactions. We will find out their standard free energy change values. For the first reaction, the delta G naught value will be given by minus 2F e naught value that is minus 2 into minus 1.18 f this comes out to plus 2.36 f the next reaction is mn3 plus gains one electron to give mn2 plus delta G2 naught the standard free energy change for the second reaction will be given by minus F into E naught value for the second reaction that is minus 1.51 F here the value of N is 1 the desired reaction is Suppose the free energy change for the desired reaction is delta G3 naught. Now the desired reaction will be obtained by multiplying the second reaction with 2 and subtracting from the first reaction. If we call this as the first reaction, this as the second reaction, the desired reaction will be obtained. by multiplying the second reaction with 2 and subtracting from the first that is delta G10 minus 2 delta G20 delta G10 is plus 2.36 F minus 2 into minus 1.51 F that is 2.36 plus 3.02 into F the total comes out to plus 5.38 F delta G3 naught is given by minus in this disproportionation reaction 1 mn2 plus gains 2 electrons and gets reduced to mn the other 2 moles of mn2 plus lose 1 electron each to give 2 moles of mn3 plus so the reduction reaction or the oxidation reactions involve only 2 electrons so delta g3 naught is minus 2 f into e let's call it E3 naught so delta G3 naught is 5.38 F minus 2 F into E naught so E naught value for the desired reaction will be minus 5.38 divided by 2 that is minus 2.69 volt so the standard reaction potential for the desired reaction is minus 2.69 volt since the standard reaction potential value is negative the reaction will not occur so the correct answer is option 2
minus 2.69 volt the reaction will not occur next we will take up question 65